What are the best snacks for doing work on your car? Bacon. Yeah, I think you're right. Bacon, bacon is... Bacon and beer. Bacon and beer, that's right. Uh, one of the things we have to do is figure out how to route this um, switch uh, that controls the M MLACR uh, into the cab. So, um, we've been looking for places through the firewall, found a really good place. So, this boot right down here, it has a location that hasn't been used yet and you can clip off the front of this location. It's way down in here, you can barely see it, that little nipple. And that has a tube that goes into the main compartment um, right about where we want this switch to come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clip that off and then we'll take each of these wires off of here and we'll feed them through um, in through that grommet and then we're gonna put a little silicone on there. So We're gonna just snip that little nipple off with just regular scissors. There's a little line there. And then you can just pull the rest of it off. And now you have a route into and underneath your dashboard. All right, couple important things. Um, number one, though, we, have, we think there was a little rubber inside of there that we had to punch through to get the wire through, but it it's wasn't too small. hard. It's small, it, yeah, it's pretty easy to get through it. But, um, but it was going to be real hard to get the pre-crimped connectors through there. Um, and we started messing with it and decided to just cut them off and get some new connectors and re-crimp them. This is a lot easier to go through. So cut all those off. We're putting it through that hole. The other thing is before you run that through and re-crimp this stuff, so in the situation we are here right now, you want to make sure you're routing this wire through all the places that you want. So probably behind the, the relay fuse box. Yeah. So what we're the funny thing is the hood release cable comes out at the same place that the that these wires are going to go in, just a hole right next to it. And you can see this cable runs down right along the battery, right up behind your fuse relay box, and right over there. So I'm thinking that we're just going to route that right along that cable and then zip tie loosely zip tie it to there. And um, that's probably going to be our safest bet. And it's also moving right along with this main wiring harness, too, that goes to the fuse box. And But considering there's so much other moving around things and vibrations, we, you really want to make sure this first zip tie is going to keep this out of trouble. That way you don't have to recut. And I'm just putting the ground behind. Yeah, so we went ahead. There's a ground that comes with the switch leads. We're attaching that to this ground that's right behind the battery box. It's perfect position um, the leads uh, running from the from the MLACR to this inside the switch uh, these leads that to the switch inside the cab we've also put this inside these brackets along the way um, so a few more zip ties and snug everything up but we're ready to drop the battery in and I wanted to show you guys all this before we got the battery in there so we're getting pretty close if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.